guys, thank you for tuning in to another episode of the Logan Tyler Nelson Show. This one is all about achieving your true career gasm. Yeah, I'm going to say it again. It's about achieving your career gasm. Yes. What? A career gasm? People can have those? Yeah, they can. Those people that jump out of bed because they're ready to do what they love to do every single day. Those people that can't go to sleep because there's just so much to do and there's so much little time. Those people who continuously to stay busy and they're so passionate what they love. But you, you, you look at them and you're like, yeah, yeah, you're crazy obsessed, man. But you're also a little jealous, right? Those people that have work where they are dedicated and they're devoted and they don't believe in the B word. You know? You know what I'm talking about? That B word? You know, come on, come on. That B word, come on. Seriously? The guy who looks like this? You know, or the girl that looks like this? Yeah, boredom. They don't believe in boredom. Because, why? Because they achieved career gasm. So the first thing I want to say is that when when you have that that ideal job in your head, it's scary, right? Because what if you go for it and all of a sudden it turns out to be the thing that you really don't want anymore? And that's okay. Because really, at least you found out what didn't work. Another thing though is what if you're on the flip side and you don't know what you want to do? What if you don't have that passion? Uh, you become droopy the dog and you're like, oh boy, I don't know what I want to do. Uh, I'm just, I'm stuck in a job and it's comfortable and I like that. You know what? That's fine too. But you're killing yourself if you ever watch something. And you're inspired. And you wanted to do that thing. And all of a sudden now you're lost. You're completely lost. You're looking for Waldo all the time. And Waldo is this job. Or this thing that you desire. Like those other people around you that can't go to bed at night. Because they love their job so much. And you see your friends that have those jobs. And you go, I want that too. Just think about the thing in your life that makes time go like that. Where when you're doing this thing, time flies. What if it is watching TV? What if you love watching TV? Turn it into maybe becoming the best TV watching reviewer you've ever met. So when you watch TV, you simply run to the computer, write about it, or maybe you talk about it, and, and, and it makes you filled up because now you have a community that you can, you, you, you can get together with and talk about them TV shows that you love. Maybe it's eating. Maybe you love eating. You're like, oh, God, I can't, can't make a career out of that. Yes, you can. It's called a food critic. And you find all these foods that you love to eat and you just talk about them, write about them, YouTube about them. Just do something like that. Just start, you know? Because I know what it's like to have an idea in your head and not be able to have it actually come true because it sucks. It's scary. And when that idea is in your head and it doesn't come into fruition, it kills you does it not i mean it oh it's like this guy taking a sword to someone's heart it kills you so i just want to say stop doing that stop having these ideas in your head and don't take action have the idea in your head and take immediate action even if it's like a minute towards towards that idea like maybe the idea is you know what? I would love to watch uh, a, a a show where when I'm performing as a live performer, I, I, I get a massage. 
Like, wouldn't that be cool to go see a TV show or go see some sort of live performance and every single audience member is dared to give their audience partners or co-audience, whatever you call them, I don't know what you call them, the friend to your left or the friend to your right, each person has to give them a massage while they're watching the show. I think that would be so cool. So what do I do? I take a minute out of my day and I write down that idea so I don't forget it. So, that's another way to find out what you love. To really find out what you love, you have to put out the action in order to really find out. Otherwise, <laughs> you're like Trippy the dog. Oh, God, I don't know what I want to do. Well, what if I, what if I do want to do this and then all of a sudden I, uh, I find out that it's not what I want to do and then I'm scared. Of course you're going to be scared. Fear is the compass to finding out what you really love. Follow the fear. So to wrap up everything, to find out your career gasm in your dream job, find out what makes time go by so fast that you're like, where did it go? Find out what gives you energy. Oh, what, what makes you breathe and live. And also find out what can I do right now within the next minute or two to take action upon that idea. And I promise you that you will be another person that jumps out of bed, that can't wait to get to their dream job, that's also like, ah, oh, I gotta go to sleep. I don't wanna go to sleep like her. I don't wanna go to sleep like him. But you actually finally get in bed and you're like, you know what? I'm so excited to wake up tomorrow. I'm going to sleep good. And I'm going to get energy so I can make my dream job happen again and again and again. Guys, thank you so much for watching this show. You guys are enough. It's always a pleasure to share these thoughts and ideas with you. I hope they're really helping you. I think they are. And I'm going to keep doing it because I believe. And you should too. Peace out, guys.